Hi, I'm Mimi Canto. I'm a professor of medicine at the Johns Hopkins University, and I direct our multidisciplinary heartburn center. Today, I'd like to address some of the questions you may have about the transoral incisionless fundoplication or TIF procedure. First of all, when is it time to give up on your anti-acid medications? Well, you've tried diet and lifestyle changes plus PPIs or protein pump inhibitors, but your heartburn or regurgitation are not adequately relieved. You also may have developed side effects from these PPIs, or the PPIs work, but you are worried about the long-term side effects. Your doctor suggested anti-reflux surgery, often called the Nissen fundoplication or Nissen wrap, but you've heard and read about all these possible complications. And these complications include inability to belch, bloating, trouble swallowing, diarrhea, and flatulence and you're looking for other options. How is TIF performed? Well, it's performed under general anesthesia to protect your airway and to make sure it is absolutely under strict control. This esophix device, which we use to perform the TIF, has an endoscope inside it, and it is advanced into the stomach with the help of another endoscopist. The first part of the TIF includes reducing the hiatal hernia, and the second part includes creating a new flap valve, which is approximately three centimeter long and about 270 to 300 degrees in circumference. This valve is therefore not too tight, unlike the Nissen wrap, which acts like a belt around the bottom of your esophagus, and it's about 360 degrees encircling your sphincter. How does TIF create a new valve? Well, as you can see in this animation here, that once the the device is uh, in your stomach, we're able to reduce the hiatal hernia by pulling down the hiatal hernia and creating this esophagogastric plication, like so, and putting plastic fasteners all around from the 11 to 1 o'clock position to create a partially circumferential new flat valve. Therefore, these fasteners are not staples or sutures, they actually serve to create this tissue to tissue adhesion with the new valve being predominantly underneath the diaphragm or within the stomach. So therefore, this valve functions mainly as a result of two mechanisms. One is not so much tightness, the way a belt might work like the Nissen wrap, but also it has the additional mechanism of preventing reflux through creating a longer valve or tunnel, which will make uh, the barrier for reflux from the stomach much better. So what are the benefits of TIF? Well, it's highly effective. It can reduce a small hiatal hernia and build a better flat valve to defend against reflux. It's also endoscopy. It is not surgery, and so therefore, no incisional pain or scars. There's a fast recovery after TIF, and most of our patients go home after recovering from general anesthesia. There is also, importantly, no trouble swallowing, no gas bloat, inability to vomit or belch, as we might see, for example, with the Nissen operation. And it's extremely safe with very few complications. The TIF complication rate is about 0.4% in more than 20,000 cases, as opposed to that reported with surgery is between 6 to 29%. You may ask, I have a large hiatal hernia. Can I undergo a TIF procedure? Well, TIF alone as an endoscopic treatment is reserved typically for patients with less than two centimeter long or wide hiatal hernias. But if your hiatal hernia is greater than two centimeters long or wide, the gap in your diaphragm and your hernia should be fixed surgically. But however, TIF can be performed afterwards at the same laparoscopic operation. This is called concomitant TIF or C-TIF. The treatment that is selected it's really based upon your anatomy and the factors causing your reflux. You may ask how effective is TIF or C-TIF with hiatal hernia repair compared with the standard surgical Nissen procedure? Well, TIF is not an experimental procedure. It's been around for at least 10 years. There's a lot of peer-reviewed publications, including several randomized clinical trials. And as you can see in this table here, comparing the outcomes of TIF or C-TIF 
with standard anti-reflux surgery, the Nissen operation, you can see that improved GERD symptoms or symptoms improving after TIF or surgery are seen in between 78 to 93% of cases in TIF or C-TIF, which is comparable with surgery. Also, the chance for getting off your daily PPI is really high. It's almost comparable to surgery. And certainly, normalization of the acid in your esophagus is also variable with TIF alone, but much higher with C-TIF, comparable with surgery. Now, how long does the TIF procedure take? If it's the TIF alone, which is the endoscopic procedure, it's pretty quick. It usually takes about 30 to 45 minutes and is performed as an outpatient procedure. If it's C-TIF with a hiatal hernia repair, usually a laparoscopic operation, this takes about 90 minutes and typically with an overnight observation. Now, what would you expect after TIF? There are no long-term side effects, unlike PPIs. After TIF, you might have some mild discomfort in the throat, neck, chest, or upper abdomen for two to seven days, but usually this resolves. Most patients do not need narcotic medications for pain. The pain is typically mild. Continue taking your PPIs to promote healing, but we will taper and discontinue this after three months. You will be given detailed instructions under diet, exercise, and medications. How soon can I go back to work? Well, if your work does not involve physical activity, like a desk job, you will most likely be able to return to work in a few days. Some patients actually go back to work the next day. You may ask, when can I eat? Can I exercise? Well, we recommend a full liquid diet for the first week, a mashed or soft food diet for two weeks to promote healing, and a regular diet after that. You may do aerobic exercise after three weeks, but no weight lifting more than five pounds for three weeks, and we encourage no weights greater than 50 pounds afterwards to minimize the new valve disruption. Most importantly, patients ask, how long does the TIF last? Well, remember, there is no treatment that is guaranteed for life. The beneficial effects of TIF can last eight to 10 years, similar to how long a Nissen operation lasts. It is a good middle therapy for patients who might need repeat surgery once or twice in their lifetime. It can also be revised if needed. It does not limit future treatment options. For example, repeat TIF or surgery. Overall, TIF is a great option for GERD patients considering an alternative treatment which leads to a high quality of life. Thanks for listening. If you are interested in hearing from a patient who had TIF and said it was truly life-changing, click on the link to the video.